Learning objective number six in session six deals with EAR and compounding. And you'll uh, be confronted with this perhaps uh, looking at uh, loans that you may take on, credit cards you may take on, where the bank will give you a stated or quoted rate, and you'll know right away, having taken this course, that that is not what you're paying. If it says the magical words compounded blank, compounded daily, compounded monthly, compounded quarterly, anything but compounded annually, you know that you're paying a higher effective annual rate than the stated or quoted rate. Um, let's com uh, comparing rates. Uh, the stated interest rate is the rate expressed in terms of an interest payment made each period. Uh, typically, you'll get this from the bank. They're required by law to state the APR on a loan. And they may say words like 8% uh, compounded monthly. And what that tells you right away, your antenna should go up, and you know that that stated rate or quoted rate is not what you're paying. It's compounded more frequently than annually, and you need to calculate the effective annual rate or EAR. EAR is the rate uh, expressed if it were compounded once per year. So I'm going to convert that uh, monthly compounding into annual compounding. And in general, I'm going to pay a little bit more is basically it. The formula is EAR is equal to 1 plus the quoted rate over m to the mth power minus 1. Uh, some people like to phrase it this way. EAR equals 1 plus APR over m to the mth power minus 1, where m is the number of periods of compounding. Here's a good example. Where should I um, invest my money? Should I invest in bank A, which pays 15% um, compounded daily? Or bank B, which pays 15.5% compounded quarterly? Or bank C, which pays 16% compounded annually? Now, some people may just run to Bank C and say, well, it's 16%. That's the highest rate. I'm going to go to Bank C. And in reality, that's not the correct answer. We learned that Bank A really pays me 16.2%, which is 15% compounded daily. Bank B pays 15.5% compounded quarterly. That translates to 16.4% compounded uh, annually on an EAR basis. And then Bank C is 16% compounded annually, where M equals 1%. And that's just 16%. So the right choice would be bank B in this example. Um, so again, be careful about this. When you see compounded daily, M is equal to 365, 365 compounded periods. When in bank B, uh, where it's compounded quarterly, M is equal to 4. And in bank C, where it's compounded annually, M is equal to 1. So M is the number of times compounded. Uh, let's look at a few examples on this one. Bank is offering 12% compounded quarterly. Right away, your antennae go up, your EAR antenna go right up, and you know you need to calculate the EAR before moving forward. So uh, $100 in an account, how much will you have at the end of uh, one year? What's the EAR? How much will you have in two years? So before I plug anything into a future value equation, this is a lump sum being dropped into an account. Uh, at 12% uh, compounded quarterly, you know you're going to get more than 12% right away. So first of all, I do EAR. EAR equals 1 plus the quoted rate over M to the mth power minus 1. Uh, 1 plus 0 0.12, 12% over 4 to the 4th power minus 1, and I get an EAR of 12.55%. I knew my answer had to be a little bit higher than 12%. Um, and then I'm going to use that. If I'm going to compound out two years, three years, four years, I'm going to use 12.55%. And I see that my $100 at the end of two years grows to $126 plus. Uh, so again, use that EAR to your advantage when you see the word compounded, anything more than annually. APR is uh, the interest rate charge per period, multiplied number of periods per year. U.S. banking law requires all lenders to disclose the APR. And you know that you're not paying, you know if it's compounded monthly, you're paying a much higher rate. APR is quoted rate or stated rate. And uh, if you see the word compounded monthly, compounded daily, compounded quarterly, with that APR, you know you have to calculate the EAR first. Uh, credit card companies may charge you, in this example, 18% APR. Monthly payments are required, compounded monthly. What's the actual interest rate you'll be paying? So uh, the quoted rate is 0.18. M in this case is 12, and I'm going to calculate the EAR on this one. 1 plus 0.18 over 12 to the 12th power minus 1, and I get an effective annual rate of 19.56%. So you're actually paying uh, almost 20% on this 18% credit card. 
Uh, if we have continuous compounding, you can plug a very, very large number into that equation that we had, uh, 1 plus quoted rate over m to the uh, mth power minus 1. Just plug in a million, a billion, a trillion, and you should get some uh, numbers that will get you close to continuous compounding. An easier way to do it would be take e to the uh, quoted rate minus 1. That will get you the same answer if you have continuous compounding.